welcome all you inspiring people out there today we will see different methods to paint hydrangea so let's get started for the first method i am taking violet and magenta for painting the background i'll begin with marking a round area for the general shape of hydrangea just a rough circle now we will fill this circle with magenta on areas catching more light and gradually blend in violet on the shadow areas as shown let's see this again while i create the background for another hydrangea I'm using criss-cross brush strokes to give the illusion of petals underneath. I'll transfer the excess color to the palette. Next, I'll double load a 12 inch flat brush with magenta and white to create the small petals for hydrangea. As we know, hydrangea comprises of many little florets having four petals each. So I'll create them likewise with petals partially overlapping to give a natural look. Don't worry about the gap between the petals and the background showing through as it will add depth to the flower and make it look fuller. Try creating them of slightly varying sizes for a realistic effect. We may notice there is a slight difference between the overall look of the two hydrangea. This is because the first hydrangea was created while the background was still wet which is also called a wet on wet painting technique. While for the second hydrangea, petals were created on a dried out background called wet on dry technique. So we can use these techniques to create different variants. Let's have a quick look at the brush stroke we used to create the petals and also see another brush stroke that can be used to create the petals for hydrangea. Let's create the next hydrangea using the latter brush stroke to create the petals. I skipped painting the background for this hydrangea as the surface is already dark. Don't forget to keep overlapping the petals for a natural look. We may go on creating florets this way as per the shape we want to give to hydrangea. So that was the second method we can create hydrangea. Let's move on to the third one. I have added a few more colors to the palette to make hydrangea a bit more colorful. This is optional. I double loaded my flat brush with violet and magenta to create petals at the shadow area. I created a rough circle to keep track of the shape of hydrangea. I am creating petals using the same method as in previous hydrangea. Let's see in more detail. I created a diamond shape outline. We basically move the brush along these lines to create the petals. To show areas catching more light, I have double loaded the brush with magenta and white for creating the petals. We may finish off the flower by creating the magenta and white petals to fill up the rest of the round area or we may add various colors on the palette to the brush as I am doing here if we like to make it more colorful.
so that was another way we can create hydrangea to make it simpler we may skip painting complete florets for the underneath layer let's see this in the next hydrangea this time we will create only the petals that would be visible rather than the complete florets for the underneath layer I am adding a few different colors as in previous hydrangea. This is optional. Next, we will create a few complete florets for the topmost layer. And here we are with another hydrangea. To make it even simpler, create underneath petals with loose brush strokes as shown. Finish it off with a few florets on the top. And that was another quick and simple way to create hydrangea. So those were a few methods to create hydrangea. I hope you like them. Do try these fun ways to create hydrangea and let me know which one you like the best in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.